we're at Highlight of Leeds here. Well, today is uh, is the day. Trains there. Welcome to Exploring Yorkshire and the Humber by Train, day 27. Now, um, my jacket's actually dried off now because when I first stepped out of the door this morning, like it was absolutely hammering it down with rain. But since the uh, quite long journey as well this morning, getting into Yorkshire, the weather has brightened up a bit and it has stopped raining now. So hopefully it stays like that. I'm off to Lowmore, Bradford Interchange, New Pudsey, Bramley and Leeds. Um, there are some bells ringing very loudly at the moment because I am starting my vlog from Halifax and I am actually an hour delayed already in starting my vlog this morning because one of my trains this morning was cancelled but yeah I didn't think I'd, uh, I'd be back in Halifax but I am filming this on a Sunday so I did have to start uh, my vlog from here but yeah let's go and get the first train I'm on 2158753 and I'll tell you what, I don't think I've ever seen a service down this line so quiet but it is because on a Sunday there are these services which uh, start at Halifax and terminate at Leeds. It means a lovely change, the uh, train being so empty. Oh, it's gone quite windy, but I am at Low Moor. When I used to ride uh, past this station on the trains, I did always used to think, is there a station called High Moor anywhere? Um, I've yet to hear of a station called High Moor, unless there is one, and it's just completely elsewhere, away from Low Moor. But um, immediately in stepping off the train, I have just looked up at the information display to check that my next train is on time. And it is on time, and it's also a train to lead, not Leeds. <laughs> is a proper modern looking station we've got shelters on either platform we have got two platforms uh, we've got lifts with step free access we've got northern trains calling here and grand central also call call here as well and i do really like that um low more sign over the out of the station just on my station itself you know so i'm a proper pineapple led today with me uh, um, especially with the wind but anyways i have got an hour here at lowmore so i'm gonna go and have a wonder outside of the station may have just almost gone onto my bum um slipping in a bit of mud there but i've actually just come to victoria park it's called i think i'm just gonna spend my time here and there are some exercise machines so i think i'm just gonna play on those back at the station now about to get on the next train it's pretty one for me seven five five Alright, I'm at Bradford Interchange, however, I'm only here for four minutes as the train I've just gotten off um, is going to reverse back out in four minutes and I am just going to simply hop straight back on. I have been to Bradford before, I did walk between Bradford Interchange to the other station here, Bradford Forster Square, and I think from my memory it took about ten minutes. Bradford Interchange, it is an interchange with the buzzes. Um, it is run by Northern Trains and Metro. Uh, Grand Central Services also call here and it does have four platforms. All right, station selfie talk. I'm getting back on pretty one for eight, seven, five, five. I'm at New Pudsey and again I've not got very long here. I have got a little bit more time than I did at Bradford Interchange. I've got about 11 minutes so I'll have a look around the station. New Pudsey is a northern only station and it's got two platforms. It also looks very pretty here. It's a shame I've only got the 11 minutes. New Pudsey, there's indoor waiting shelters, there's long red and white ramps to take you out of the station, uh, there's a nice poster here entitled Trains of the Rain. Just 
Sexy 195 105. That train was a little bit busy. To be fair, it wasn't packed how actually, um, as it is one of the Manchester to Leeds services. But it has brought me to Bramley, and I am currently wondering do Bramley apples come from Bramley? I was very happy to see when I got off the train that the platforms here at Bradley are my favourite kind of platforms. They are staggered. There are two platforms here and Northern Trains call at Bramley. I am also happy that it is warming up a little bit now because with that rain this morning, honestly, I was proper cold. Uh, but yeah, it's turned out to be a really lovely day and it's going by so fast as well. The exit to the station is down here at the bottom of the platform. Also in the station we've got these mesh sided shelters. Uh, there is an information display although it's not working at current time so I'm not too sure uh, if my next train is running on time or what. And then down here as you exit the station we do have some post pick up point thingy my bobbies and a ticket machine. There's even a 195 plant pot out here. So I was supposed to have a 50 minute wait here, however I have checked and my next train has been cancelled. So I do have to wait a little tiny bit longer, I have got an hour overall here at Bramley now. Not too bad, it could have been a lot worse. So I'm just having a walk, it's not too far from the station at all, to the Morrisons. Getting on the final train now, it's sexy 195-004. Oh, and Bramley apples are not from Bramley, they're from Southwell in Nottinghamshire. When you're at Leeds, you put your knickers on your head. You put your knickers on your head. You put your knickers on your head. When you're at Leeds, you put your knickers on your head. And you shout, Squishy Babies! Okay, so really bizarrely, we just pulled into platform 16. I am so not used to um, pulling in on a normal service on platform 16. I come to Leeds so often like particularly in this series i can't even tell you the amount of times i have been to leeds but i've yet to actually film like the the actual vloggy bit where i highlight off leeds here well today is uh, is the day we yeah, have spent many a time on platform 16 waiting for my gpe train to manchester My favourite thing about Leeds Station is the Leeds Station signage up over there. We've also got a coffee shop here. We've got loads of uh, information displays telling you the times of the trains. Uh, Leeds Station is operated by Network Rail. You've got Cross Country, Northern, TPE and LNER calling here. And it's got 18 platforms and Platform Zero is included in that. And I'll tell you something else that's really bizarre. Leeds station at current time and it's only four o'clock in the afternoon is so quiet I have never I don't think seen Leeds so quiet before is it always this quiet on a Sunday Okay, there's two pieces of flowing water I can walk to here in Leeds, the River Eyre and the Leeds Liverpool Canal. Neither of which I've actually walked to before from Leeds. I've gone into Leeds city centre before, but yeah, thought I'd go down to the flowing water this time. Okay, so on the way to the water, I did see this entrance slash exit to the station and I have been wondering for ages whereabouts this was because I've never actually been to this before, but this is absolutely amazing. You do get a good view of the river uh, and there's some blue flashing lights. As if it's called Granary Wharf, right? I'm actually on a lock bridge and to my, I'm not very good with left and right, right is the River Ur and to my left is the Leeds Liverpool Canal. So this is actually where the Leeds Liverpool Canal starts and honestly one day I will walk the entire length of this canal. Right, despite it being very windy right now, it has actually gone really warm and I am super sweaty. I might need to take my jacket off after I finish filming this vlog. And once again, like, it has gone so quick today. I know I say that a lot, but considering I only started filming at half past one this afternoon, like, 
where has the time gone? But it was great to finally finish off filming along the Calder Vale line. Is it called? I always forget the name of this line. And actually filming at Leeds. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Fuzzy bye! Uh, I really don't want to get that in the background, that music.